Ladies and gentlemen, the Village Vanguard is proud to present Miss Aretha Franklin, debuting her latest record, Unforgettable. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoy the show tonight. I see an old family friend, Dinah Washington, is in the audience. I'd like to sing a song in honor of her great artistry and talent. What you thinking? I'm sorry. You want to take me on? No. Liar. You wouldn't be here if you wasn't trying to replace me and every other out here singing. How many albums have you had? Four. And no hits. You out here. But I can see you still that little girl in your daddy's living room. You're singing everything and anything. Shoot, shoot one day, skylock the next, and then some Billy Holiday blues. Girl, you're all over the place. What do you want to sing? I don't know. You don't know? I want hits. I just want hits. Girl, you need to let go of that up with the race, Booker T. Washington proper Negro. That's not you. Your daddy likes to pretend that's who he is, but that's not who he is either. Child, y'all church folks is some of the nastiest people out here. Ray Charles told me that the best sex he ever had was when he was singing on the gospel circuit. Honey, find the songs that suit you, that move you. Until you do that, you ain't going nowhere. Put some tea bags on that. Take the puffiness down. How's Big Mama? She's all right. The kids? Her good. Child, are you ever gonna tell us who their daddy is? Tell me what's wrong. No answer. Call her again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hmm. I didn't know you were coming in today, Daddy. You are 68 minutes late. Mr. Hammond asked me to come in. You've been skipping interviews and gigs. A demon is back. Re has a tendency to indulge her pain. Can we talk about this somewhere? John, John, it's important that you understand that this behavior is not a reflection of her upbringing or her race. Well, I worked with Bessie Smith and Billie Holiday. Aretha is a saint in comparison. She wasn't raised in a whorehouse like that. She was raised in a proper home with every convenience and luxury. 
But still, uh, darkness would descend on her. I called it the demon. She'd lock herself away, wouldn't speak, move, just swallow in whatever imagine. I... You told me before we came out here that you had it under control. I have control. You keep complaining that you don't have any hits. This is why you don't have any hits. Acting like a trifling... Apologize to Mr. Hammond. No, there's, there's no need to apologize. That is not why I don't have hits. You don't make good songs for me. Sorry for being late, Mr. Hammond. It won't happen again. I'm ready to record when you are. Please excuse me while I go to the ladies room. So you're gonna come with us this weekend? Have a gig. We can go after your gig. You work too hard. Not according to my dad. <laughs> Well, you need some fun. Come with us. Can you introduce me to his friend? I don't know him. supposed to take me out in Detroit. Yes, one of my singers ran into a little trouble out of town, so I had to take care of it. I think my father said something to you to make you reconsider. Oh, that's a nice little fable you got going on in your head. <laughs> I know what you do. It doesn't bother me. I know it doesn't bother you. You're rebelling against your daddy. I don't mind. Listen, you want to use me for my body? You can use me, baby. You can wring me dry. You and me, we've been through it. So we could skip all the flowers and the promises and the love boat and just have some fun. I like fun. And we'll have plenty of it. I want one thing from you. What? To hear you say, just for me. What will I get in return? The best night of your life. Taxi. I want you to think about me when you sing tomorrow. You're not coming home with me. No. What about the best night of my life? I didn't say it would be tonight. 